If you were to see in order of importance to marketers, what comes first is sales because it directly impacts bottom line. What comes second is distribution because it's the largest driver to sales. What comes third is velocity. Velocity is something that helps you understand how well or how fast is your product selling in the market. In today's video, I will be explaining the concept of velocity from a marketer's point of view. Understanding velocity helps you understand whether consumers love your product and there are a lot of other things that you can understand with it. So let's get started with today's video. The world of marketing is vast, complex and rapidly evolving. But with just a bit of help, it can be a lot of fun. On this channel, I simplify real-world marketing for all the curious minds out there. Hi, I'm Rahul and this is the business of marketing. If you are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. At the same time, if you have any thoughts or comments on what else you would want to see you know, on this channel, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. There are primarily two components to sales. The first is distribution, which is how widely are your products available in the market. And the second is velocity. Velocity is merely a measure to understand how well your product is selling when it is made available for consumers to buy in the market. When you look at it in the form of a mathematical equation, you see that sales is equal to distribution multiplied by velocity. Do keep this equation in mind because we will be playing a little more with it uh, further in the video. So what exactly is uh, velocity? How do you go about defining velocity? It is very simple. Velocity is a measure that tells you how fast a product or a brand or a category is selling when it is made available for consumers to buy in the stores. Velocity data is captured as a part of the overall retail shopper audit. It is captured every time a sale is recorded in any of the stores. The formula for calculating velocity is very simple. It is derived from the earlier formula that I had shared with you regarding sales. Velocity is equal to sales divided by distribution. To understand the concept of velocity a little better, let me share a very, very simple example. Just keep in mind that this example is not reflective of how things are calculated in the real world. This example is merely to help you understand the concept of velocity better. In our example, the market is Singapore. The total number of stores which exist in the market are 20 and we are looking at the period of April 2020. There are two brands that we are going to talk about in this example, Brand A and Brand B. Both of them had exactly the same amount of sales in terms of units, which is 100 each. However, when it comes to distribution, brand A has a distribution of 10 stores, while brand B has the distribution of 20 stores. And when it comes to velocity, brand A has a velocity of 10 units per store, and brand B has a velocity of 5 units per store. What is interesting to note in this example is that both the brands are able to achieve the same level of sales. However, the driving source for their sales is completely different. Brand A has twice the velocity of brand B and as a result, despite having half the distribution, it is able to achieve a sales of 100. On the other hand, brand B has twice the distribution of brand A and therefore, despite having half the velocity, it is still able to achieve the total sales of 100. Therefore, we can conclude by saying that the sales of brand B is being driven by distribution and what it needs to focus on is why is the velocity so low and what is it that it needs to fix so that the demand for the uh, products can improve in the market. At the same time, when it comes to brand A, the velocity is good but the distribution is low. So what brand A needs to focus on is how is it going to go about increasing its distribution. As I mentioned, this is a very simple example just to help you understand the concept. In the next video that I will have on velocity, I will explain it with examples from the real world. So we've started to understand the importance of velocity a little bit by now. Let me explain a few more things as to what makes velocity or understanding the concept of velocity really important for your brand or for your product in terms of marketing. Velocity helps you get a complete perspective of sales. 
by each product type, by every little region and the overall market. It also helps you to decide which are the products that you should prioritize when it comes to the amount of push that you do in terms of distribution. And therefore, when you have the velocity data, you can use it to make a case for expanding distribution. Even if that product has a low market share, with an impressive velocity, making a case for expanding the distribution of that product becomes easy. At the same time, velocity can also help you identify other competitors. Some of these competitors might have gone unnoticed because they have very low market share. But if they have an impressive velocity number, they could become formidable competitors in the future. So with the help of Velocity, you are able to identify those competitors and then start keeping a tab on how their performance is improving over a period of time. So that brings me to the end of uh, today's video. In this video, I just introduced the concept of Velocity and I also tried to explain it in a very, very simple format. What I am going to do in my next video is talk about some of the measures which are actually used in the real world marketing when velocity is being calculated. I really hope you liked this video and if you did, please hit the like button. And if you have any thoughts or comments or anything else that you would want me to clarify, please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for being a part of Business of Marketing. I will see you soon in my next video.